this tutorial we're learning to use Microsoft Word 2007. Go up to start the Microsoft Office Word 2007. You'll see a blank sheet display and the first thing I'm going to do is go up to my font box and this is where you change your font. Click on and you'll see different varieties of fonts. I'm going to change mine to Times New Roman. I'm going to change my font size and this is where you change the size of your font. I'm going to change mine to 12 and this is normally where you um, type it when you do a paper. I'm going to place my cursor where I want to type my title where you see this is aligned to the left, the center, and to the right. I'm going to align my cursor in the middle for my title and this story will be about uh, about me okay and I place my title in the middle and I'm gonna highlight it and I'm gonna go over to the left and I'm gonna you're gonna see some boxes which the B stands for bold italicize or underline and I'm gonna press the U where it will underline my title like that okay then the next thing you can do is go to the next and place your cursor to the left of your paper and this is where you probably start typing but before you start typing I'm gonna explain the boxes up in the top you have your home box where this is normally where you start you form your paper and what you plan on with your fonts your font um, type and your underline your bold or your italicize you can also change the color writing of your paper right here where this A is and if you click on it it'll change the color see where it just changed and this box right here is for highlighting and this is for your bullets when within your paper you may want to bullet something or place numbers you also can do this type of thing up at the top where you see these this writing where it says home insert insert is where you insert a cover page a blank page a page rank you may even want to do a table, a picture, click picture, and you'll see some pictures that may you can make an input in your paper. Also, you have clip art where you can also place clip art. And as you see, if you type, say for it comes over to the right, and it it already has children on there. And I press go, and it'll just dis display pictures. Of children where you can ch choose it choose these pictures and place one in your paper at any time and references is for things that you might want to put in your paper like for end notes um, your bibliography page go up to mailing this is like for envelopes and you type in the envelope first and for review review is very important because this is where you your spell check and your source page information sources are and at the end you'll have view and this is when you finish typing your paper you can see what type of view you have this is your print layout and it shows you what your paper will look like when printing or full view or a web view and as you type your paper you'll see you can be begin typing as you want because you can go back up to home and click up an underline and start typing see how the font changes and you can change it back to whatever you want to change it to change it back to black highlight it and 
and change it back to black. Remember, you can always change anything that you type. <coughs> and when you want to save your paper, you go up to your office button. You press save as and you'll see a save and copy box displayed. I normally save my number under Word 97 2003 because you usually can read this up under any computer. And you'll see my file name is all about me. And I save it to my computer. And you always can save it. a disk or whatever you want on your hard drive or disk when you scroll back and forth you can see this is what you can do okay so can begin typing just like I'm doing now and hopefully this recording will help you <laughs>